in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make three different types of health bar. First of all, double click on the screen and select tile background. Change the size. The width is going to be 48 and the height is going to be 16. The reason I've chosen those three specifics, uh, those two specific numbers is because I want it to be divisible by 16 because the grid is going to be 16 by 16. So in each one of these squares, there's going to be a heart. So let's just draw that in quickly. I'm not going to worry too much about how good the artwork is. I'm just going to copy and paste that heart. One in there and one in there. Let's just fill them in. So now we've got three hearts. <clears throat> right click, clone, pop it down next to it, double click into the clone, change the background color to a darker color. Now right click on the original hearts, Z order, center top, place that on top, I'm going to rename this TB for tile background underscore hearts. Double click, let's get a sprite this time. Click anywhere, we're going to make the width 48 by 16. We're going to change the origin point to the left, so you can right click, quick assign, left, and I'm going to color this in, let's color this in green. Right click, clone it, click above it, double click into the clone, get a dark color, color it in, pop that underneath, right click on the original and bring it to the top. <coughs> Next up, double click, add some text, change the text in the properties to zero, Bring it over in line, change the name to txt underscore hp. We need to change the name of the top sprite over here, <clears throat> spr underscore h bar. So we've got our hearts, we've got our health bar, and we've got our health. So the three ways that we can make this translate into a game is we can have um, a system where we lose a heart, every time we get hit we can have a, a power bar go down and we can also have a maximum health number so let's go and create something that we can interact with that will cause our health to diminish double click click a sprite let's just color it yellow and then just shrink it down and i'm going to make mine like a wall so every time I walk through the wall, I'm going to take damage. So I'm going to call this SPR underscore wall. <clears throat> and now we go over to the event sheet. So now we need to add an event. So we're going to say player on collision with another object. And we're going to choose the wall. Now, <clears throat> we want to only trigger the event once. So select the entire block here, push B to create a sub event double click system and go down to trigger once while true and then over here is where we're going to add the action but <clears throat> before we do that we need to create some variables that track our player's health so right click add a global i'm going to call this one player hp and we're going to give him an initial health of three so when we hit the wall we want to say trigger once system subtract from HP one so now every time we hit that wall we're going to lose one from our HP but at the moment we've got nowhere that shows what our total HP is so we need to set the let's do the hearts first we'll set the hearts to equal what our HP is so we need to go and create an every tick so system every tick we want to the TV hearts not the background one the red ones we need to set the width so set width and this is going to equal 
bit of HP multiplied by 16 because 16 is the width of our sprites. So now when we play the game it's going to set it to 3. So even if I bring this down to 2, when we play the game it's going to go to 3 because that's what I've stated in the event sheet. There we go, three hearts. Now when I walk through this, it's gonna take a heart away. Walk through it again, it's gonna take another heart away. Walk through it a third time, I lose all my health. Now we can set it to subtract from the uh, health bar. <clears throat> so the sprite underscore HB, we're gonna set the width. equal player HP multiplied by 16. Let's play the game. <clears throat> and now we're taking damage on both the hearts and the health and the HP bar. Um, if we wanted to go with the health bar system Obviously you can see now it's only going to take three hits to empty the health bar. All we would need to do is change the HP value to a higher number, say 100, and then just set the width to the player HP bar, which would be 100. Or it will probably make more sense because it's 48 wide, just to set the player HP bar to 48. And then that would be exactly the right. And then when we hit this, we can subtract one from, well, then it will give us 48 hits. We can effectively subtract four, not 14. Four. And then it's going down in smaller increments. We could have it so that if we're overlapping, so for example, if we're stood in some kind of lava or something, we could have it overlapping, um, in which case we could say, we could put that up here and we could say subtract one. Um, so not just trigger once, just any time we're colliding with the wall and that would create a much smoother decrease. Sorry, we need to change that to, it's overlapping another object. and then we reduce. But it's doing this because we haven't set the base value to be zero. So we can easily correct that by saying, um, add an event, go to system, we're gonna compare the health. So if the health is equal or less than zero, then we simply just set it back to zero. So we set the value of the HP to zero, and then it'll never go below empty. Yeah. Although it's flickering on one on there. All we could do is add an action to fix that. Set the width to zero. Simple. And again, you can see it's flickering on here, and that's a simple fix. You just go H bar, set width to zero. Done. Now we can add in the number, which is again the same. You could probably figure this out quite quickly by yourself because we're tracking the player HP bar. So every tick, we simply just go text HP, set text, but we're going to set it to that global variable player HP and then play the game. It's going to start at 48 and then it reduces as we go down. It's flickering into the minus one because again, like we did on the others, if the player HP is zero or less, then we simply just set that text to zero. Perfect. You can see we've got lots of extra hearts there. That's because we've set the width of the hearts to 
uh, the health time 16, so it's going to be a way high number. I can simply just set that back to three. We can go back here. That's set to three now. So is our player HP bar, but you can kind of pick one or the other. Um, I can set this back to on collision with another object once. Close that, sorry. Met that times 16 again. And there you go, we've got three health points, we've got a health bar, and we've got three hearts. We lose one, we lose another, we lose another, we die. And then if you wanted to reverse that to create some kind of health pickup, it's so easy to do. Clone the object. Let's make this one red or pink. Pink is fine. <clears throat> and then we say that's wall two. We can copy that whole block, control C, control V, on collision with wall two, <clears throat> trigger once. Simply add one to player HP. And then that would act like a health pickup. So we lose a life, gain it. And again, we can keep gaining by hitting that one because we haven't set a maximum value. And the easiest way to do that is to simply copy this, paste it in, and say if it's equal to or greater than three, which is our maximum health, then we simply just set that to three. Set this to three. Set this to three. Set this to three. Okay, because we've got to set the width to three. Sorry. Set to player HP multiplied by 16. Player HP multiplied by 16 and set the text to 3. So there you have it. Lose a point, lose a point. Gain a point, gain a point. Can't gain any more because my health is full, but I can keep losing it by hitting that one. That's how you make a health bar.